All right, everyone, we're here with a very special guest. We are joined by the lovely Erin Leachy from Real Housewives of New York. The reunion just aired. We've been loving this season, and Yay. we're so excited to have you here. So thank you for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's been uh, a few weeks in the making. I, we have gone back and forth a couple times, so sorry about that. <laughs> no. We're happy you're here yes. now. <laughs> no worries. No worries. But we're super excited to talk to you about the show and everything that's gone into it. And we were just saying, watched. I've watched every episode. We're into the reunion. We've seen part one. Um, but I want to kind of like start a little bit at the beginning because everyone was very intrigued by a total mm -hmm. reboot and what that meant and what that entailed. And you guys definitely delivered. But I want to know like what that process was like for you becoming a real housewife, like from the beginning, like casting. When did you get to know the other girls? All that. So we all kind of knew each other. Uba and I knew each other before we started. Um, obviously, I knew someone who is not yes. on it anymore. Um, and she was like, I had known her for a long time. But, you know, the whole casting process was so crazy. Like we, you know, you do like these like interviews on the phone and then it becomes like a more, a longer interview. And then you just like go into um, the office and like meet all these producers and you have like a real meeting and it kind of goes fast. Mm -hmm. Like somehow it's like all of a sudden right. you're either getting the offer or you're not. And what's crazy is I, I got the offer on my 35th birthday. Like I remember where I was standing because yeah. it was such like a yeah. day anyway. Um, so that was like kind of wild and I was like, maybe this is meant to be. So I think so. When you heard that they were doing like a little revamp, they were, you know, casting new people for this season. Were you interested immediately? Did somebody come to you? Like, how did you get your name in the door? So I had, I didn't even know they were doing a reboot. Mm -hmm. I had no clue. But Lizzie texted me and she was like, I think a movie match in New York and I think I might be on Housewives. Um, and I'm like, what do you mean? Like, you're going to be with, like, are right, you friends with, with right. Leah? Like, <laughs> right. yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't get it. And she was yeah. like, no, they're recasting yeah. the mm -hmm. whole entire group. I was shocked. Yeah. And she's like, oh, actually, you might be really good for it. So because I think they were like looking for like one or two more at that point. Right. Um, so I'm like, OK, I'll talk to them. And that was it. Well, I think they did a really great job casting all of you. We yeah. just talked about this. I think the cast of characters is really great. And you're pulling so people different. In. Yeah, and exactly. It's, it's, so different. It's different, but not in a way where like it feels like we kind of know you guys already. Like not in a way where you're like, oh, this is different. Right. I don't know how I feel about this. Like right. people are pretty locked in immediately. Right. Like you can you can understand our personalities mm -hmm. pretty quickly. Yeah. Yep, definitely. So who would you say, like, you got along with the best at the beginning? I mean, Uba and I just, like, have a really good time together. Yeah. Like, for whatever reason, like, we just, we make each other laugh. Mm -hmm. Like, we riff on each other. I don't know. We just have fun. It's, like, my fun friend. And also, she's, like, she's got a lot of depth to her. So, like, you can talk to her about things. I think Jenna and I have a more... um like, I don't have to talk to her all the time to know that I can just trust her and say things to her. Yeah. It's just like a one of those bonds, you know, like friends that you don't have to speak to for six months and mm -hmm. then you pick up right where, where you left off. Yeah. yeah. That's how my friendship with her feels. So everyone made such a big deal, of course, about her being on the show. Yeah. Did you do you guys think that you were a little like not nervous is the wrong word, but like. You, it took a little bit longer to feel her out than maybe some of the other ones. So I am like a freak and people don't know this about me, but I literally know nothing. Okay. I tell people yeah. all the time, like, I don't know anyone. I know yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah, yet, yeah. Like I grew up in the city and obviously mm -hmm. I'm well connected and know a lot of people, but I'm not like on Instagram all the time, right, like right, figuring right. out who's who. Like, yeah. I just don't know. You know people because you actually know them in yeah. real life, not because you're like following along with. I wouldn't yeah. know. Like I, w I had no mm -hmm. idea who she was. Like I probably at some point heard Jenna Lyons, J. Crew, but like mm -hmm. I didn't know, like I just didn't know. So yeah. when I heard she was coming on, I was just like, oh, cool. And yeah. then everyone was like, no, this is a big deal. She revamped J. Crew, and then everyone had their theories about her and blah, blah, blah. Um, but I just genuinely got to know her like totally with not like understanding any backstory. Yeah. So it was kind of better that way. Yeah. So in part one of the reunion, we hear Uba out of nowhere say, can we talk about how none of you wanted Jen on? And and that was like, a, and Andy, Andy ignored Andy her. was like, that was a total <laughs> side comment. And then just kept going. And That's why like, I love her. Though. And he was like, terrible. anyways, yeah, does that ever get touched on? Or was that kind of just moved? Because it was I so mean, I'll fast. I'll tell you what happened. Yeah. Yeah. It was so early on. I had the girls over. She was saying it because we were talking about the cheese gate. Mm -hmm. Remember yes. how we were yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. And they were all at my house. And I think at one point, 
that night we had FaceTime. We get really close with like the people involved mm-hmm. in the back of the show. And we had FaceTimed one of the girls and she was like, oh, like I think we're going forward with Jenna Lyons. And I think we were all just like, like it's interesting, but how does she fit into the group? Right. You know, because she's older than us yep. and she's so established and we're like these like poor new like girls that no, no, we don't know anybody. You know what I mean? Like yeah. in comparison. So that was just the conversation. It wasn't like, we don't want her on the show. How do we make sure she doesn't come on? But that's what Uva meant. <laughs> it just, there was it some was validity. Because yeah. it was just literally out of nowhere. It wasn't even nowhere, yeah. on the subject. It was just like, how about let's talk about how none of you wanted Jenna? <laughs> and it was like, mm, okay, I we're going to move she on. Was like, com- she was like yeah. connecting it to Cheesegate. Right, right. right. Where? And which nobody was like actually there with you guys. Yeah. So And Cheesegate is the stupidest fucking yeah, date yeah. I've ever heard and of. And it went on for a long time. And it kind of was reminiscent she, so of. I didn't speak to me for months. It, it went on for a while at the reunion too. And it was, it was reminiscent of any other Bravo show like drama like yeah. the pasta with Vanderpump rules and I'm like there's always some sort of like food, food yeah. gate issue. like there's just something going on um and I I I just thought it was funny how long it went on and also you were talking about how you know you host a lot of parties and you're like it's finger foods what I want to know what was like specifically served at the party oh at my event yeah it was like sushi, which I guess they didn't want to eat because it had um, like the flame on it. I don't know. They didn't like that. There was a lot of meat yeah. and she doesn't eat meat. Um, there was I actually posted a photo of all the food because I was like, cute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but I mean, it wasn't Some like pickings. it wasn't yeah. it wasn't the type of event where it would have been natural for people to sit down and eat. And have it a was like, it was yeah, a yeah. really like a walk around like mm-hmm. DJ. Just like, whatever. What do people want like past like. She doesn't eat sandwiches, no meat, like yeah, but no meat. Like, like, like it's if you know whoa. no meat, then that's on you. I mean, like, there's sushi. Like, if you don't like the yeah. sushi and you don't like the meat, <laughs> like I don't yeah. know what to tell you. <laughs> How many options? Maybe I should have had a big cheese board. <laughs> yeah. Right. How many options can you have? Do you feel like going into the reunion? I I felt that Uba was just running hot about a lot of things. Yeah, she was. It was towards and it me. was it was coming across <laughs> yeah, clearly. Um, where did that come from? I think that. Look, it's hard to watch things back, you know, and especially to see, like, I think she felt like n- people weren't taking her side with Anguilla. And we had, I feel like we had just watched all the episodes, like, fast. Right. You know, like, right before the reunion. And I think she was kind of bummed to see, like, us in the confessionals talking about Anguilla. I But, yeah, I don't know. that Anguilla was wild to watch because yeah, it, was it wild just to live. didn't <laughs> make any logical sense as to what was going on. Like, the sunglasses and you yanking them off your face. Like, that was, I don't know. It was, it was I'm sure you guys will touch on it and, and rehash everything that went down when we, we do. see it. Yeah, but, see, like, in the, in the next episode, yeah. What was going through your mind when that all happened? Because like you said, you've always felt like you and Uba were close. I think I was just like so caught off guard. So it's just like, oh my God. Like I didn't know that me saying, like stop talking about me, which I thought she was doing that all morning. That's what I had heard from everybody else. Mm. So I didn't think that that would turn into what it turned into. Um, But like looking back, I get it. Like she was really hurt. You know, she, to her, that was fully real and like, yeah, hurtful. It, in the moment or when you guys were kind of talking in Anguilla, did she ever explain to you like what she was saying in her confessionals, like making sure she calls her family and the like, did she explain I that know. to you in person? I didn't know. Yes, she yeah. said that in Anguilla. Okay. But it, up until that point, I didn't know how important it was to her. Mm, I mean, yeah. she's also like kind of careless with her phone. So right. like I didn't, I mean, look, looking back, I could have taken it and then like waited an hour and given it back. Yeah. But candidly I was kind of messed up yeah. I was having fun I forgot like I didn't think it was going to be that deep mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm not taking and it's her phone obviously became yeah. very deep um, Jessel was a big focus yeah. this season and I think that a lot of the fans felt that everyone was maybe piling on to her a little bit Watching I wish back. I didn't get so looped in into the, like, yeah. the side pile on, <laughs> yeah. but I really got looped in. Yeah. I really don't care that much about her. Right, no, right. Watching back, life. do you feel like maybe you got a little too involved in I like do. her personal life? I, I, you know what? I don't think I was getting involved in her personal yeah. life or but, like, commenting on it. I, I was listening yeah, yeah, yeah. to, yeah. you know, Sai had that lunch with her. Yeah, they talked about him mm-hmm. going away, and I was like, that is kind of weird, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, and by the way, why I was saying I didn't insinuate that he was cheating was because I have 
like if anything, I have other theories. It's not that he's a cheater. You know right. what I mean? Like, I just felt like he. I, th- I thought it was weird. I, that's really what it, you yeah. know what, what it was for me. Right. It's like when you're gossiping with your friends and in the moment you're saying something and then you go home and you never think about it again. But never it gets brought up and again. you're like, wait, I actually really don't care at all. I was just talking about it because I just the group was just talking about yeah. it. So I just chimed I in. I did not care about it at all. Really, I didn't. And I kind of wish like looking back when Cy would like bring things up with me. I just... Right. Mm-hmm. Would have just been like, let's move on. I'm not talking about her marriage because I think it did get like, I think there was a certain point where it, bo- it started to really bother her. I mean, she brought up the sex thing. Yeah. Right. We wouldn't have known that information. Yeah. So, you know, naturally we were all like, what? Like, mm-hmm. we need to make sure you have sex. But we really like, I think it went to a point where like it as long, you know, as long as it was light, it's not a big deal. Mm-hmm. But then when it was hurting her, the thing with the ring, though, really bothered me because I never said that. Mm -hmm. I was twisted and misconstrued. Abe barely ever wears his ring. Like, I don't care about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I actually said, I'm not bringing this up on camera. And then it was turned into, like, me bringing up the ring. So that kind of bothered me. Right, yeah. Um, We saw on the reunion as well that they talked about you going on a podcast, which was, I I think it was Not Skinny But Not Fat, who we love, Amanda. Love her. Love her. Um, Close friend. Yes, she's awesome. And uh, it was funny because I saw her, she kept posting on her stories where it was like, a podcast. And like, the name was never said. I know. But do you feel like now, because right now you're on a podcast, yeah. do you feel like you have to watch your words a little bit more yeah. because you didn't realize Cy was going to whip out her phone and be like, this is exactly what you said. And you're like, all right, I didn't mean it literally, I, I, but I, I was just talking and things come out of your mouth. And I stand yeah. by the fact that I did not lie. Mm-hmm. Like on the podcast, I didn't say she came into my home and insulted my cheese. I said she she said our, our, is all we're having cheese. What she said accurately was she called me and said, are you serving dinner? If not, I'll eat before. Like that was the conversation. But I was in like a conversational podcast. I mean, uh, yes, I would like to avoid these things. (laughs) But like natural conversation can't be monitored like so closely. Mm -hmm. No, and you're having a conversation about a show that's all about relationships right so it's like how do you not talk about the relationships you know that you have Sai also kind of like you know she said something to Jessel during the reunion like I don't care about you or your marriage like I don't like whatever but then she was like but I also think you're in a loveless marriage like and then Sai like, definitely cares but, <laughs> so how do you she what, said what no were connect- you th- she said I see yeah. no connection so no connection yes like what do you what were you guys thinking in that moment like what's Sai saying that I felt a little bad. Yeah. I felt a little bad for Jess on that moment because it's like they definitely have a connection. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, they to say they don't have a connection is like, you know, yeah. they're married with right. and they've kids. Yeah. yeah. And they they definitely have a connection. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. for sure. Um, I don't know. I was not touching that with a 10 foot pole. I'm like, yeah. I'm not getting looped into this again. But what's yeah. interesting to me looking back and watching it is that a lot of like the animosity I felt from Jessel was like targeted to me. And it's like, why isn't that? It's like not leveled. And I get it because size more vocal and I'm kind of just like, OK, whatever, like pile on. But it is a little frustrating yeah, mm-hmm. because I really like like them. And I feel like we've all had like a friendship, you know, even mm-hmm. like even Pavit are friends. And so that was felt a little incongruous. But what whatever. did you think about her Rolling Stone profile? Did you see it? I thought it was great, yeah. except for the fact that I was the byline. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't like that at all. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know. They're always putting they always, something buzzy. They yeah. feel like they have to like, I know, throw out right. there. But and it's like not my views and not who yeah. I am. And it's like annoying. It's like right. at yeah, this point, totally. it's annoying. Let's move on. Right. From it. Like, and it's I've something it that you times. have clarified already. So it's unnecessary times. to be used as. And it's line. like clearly I'm very connected to Israel. Like you could see yeah. that yeah. now. And, you know, my yeah. family's like half there. Yeah. So it just bugs me that that's yeah. still like a stigma because then it's like they're like naming me in all these ways that are connected to that. Right, and it's right. like, can and we move on? And if people don't right. click the article and they just read the headline, yeah. then it's like Most immediate. Most people don't. That's, yep. yeah, that's what happens. People see yeah. a headline. Especially they, if it's like behind a paywall. Like yeah, sometimes exactly. you can, that's that all you true can see. Too. And right. people aren't like, I'm not really paying the me. $1.99 to read this article. I know. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, um, But yeah. I will say, I will give her credit, she was upset about it. And she did mm-hmm. call me, Jessel, and like she was like trying to get get it changed she didn't know she called me as soon as she found out yeah, so yeah i'll give her that That's that was nice, nice. Yeah. Do you, did you think like at any point during the season she because it sort of changed where it felt like in the beginning she was really trying to get you guys to like her and maybe it was coming across 
like a little I never me. felt like that with me. Okay. I always felt like that. That with Sai? With Sai. Yeah, yeah. And I felt like she was a bit affected by like the fashion stuff. Like right. Jenna, Sai, like Uba, like they were so glamorous. And here I am like an interior designer, like real estate agent. Like right. it's not cool. So like that kind of, you know, bugged me with her. And then like she came to my house and I felt like she just wasn't happy with anything. So like we we started off not on the best foot. Yeah. So I was e- more easily pulled into mm-hmm. conversation about her. Right. Was it uh, Jessel who said, I have better fashion sense than her? Was it about Psy and the reunion and it wasn't played until it was, nobody heard it until it was, it was played at the reunion yeah. and everyone gasped. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> now yeah. she's not holding back. Right, yeah. right. And what's, was there kind of any intimidation factor when it came to like fashion while filming this show and you know, no, thinking I think that I have, like people go to lunch and that they're going to be dressed to the nines. I think only Uba does that. Yeah. Um, and Sai. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I feel like I have yeah. good style. I'm like not. Right. You, you do. We I complimented have... you as soon as you came <laughs> in here. You. Every piece of you. And I was like, I can't keep like pointing out. I every also like, thing. I would much rather watch somebody with a realistic yeah. style mm-hmm. that's good and like trendy and I can follow. But I, something that also as viewers you can watch and be like oh that's so cute I could see myself right, wearing that right, like right. I'm not gonna wear some like a ball designer gown. ball gown mm-hmm. to right. drinks like yeah. in New York <laughs> and like I feel like that's just so not me so yeah. it would be like it would be like the weirdest thing for me to try to <laughs> behave like that and like wear you know an Alexander McQueen like suit to lunch you right, know yeah. so with uh you know season one has come to an end reunions airing what are you hoping for now with season two like what what do you want to give from Good yourself question. and also from from the other ladies well I feel like there was a lot of backstory about my life that just wasn't really you know there was no time for it I don't blame mm-hmm. anything I just think like you know they don't have as much time to show everything for all of us because right. there's so many of us um, so I, I really want people to like get to know me more and like how I grew up because it's a lot of how I am um, and I would love like more fun yeah you know mm-hmm. like going out having some drinks going to a restaurant going to a bar meeting new people like that to me is mm-hmm. very much city life and yeah. we don't have enough of that. Yeah, Absolutely. I, I, I definitely can see that too. Cause even in the beginning of the reunion when Andy sort of directed the conversation towards you and you were able to share more about your family, it was information that we were learning yeah. for, from the, for the first time. Yeah. yeah. So And it opened up more conversations for you and for everybody else sitting right. there as well. Right. Yeah. Um, I was going to ask about, oh, sharing. Because it, what we were talking about recently... I was talking about the show. We, I was talking about Uba's, you know, freaking out about her boyfriend and mm-hmm. sharing that information. Did you feel like, you know, you're you joined a reality show? You are sharing these parts of your life. Your husband is on the show. You're, ha- you're, you know, you're sharing I'm all these. So things. mad about. Me. He's like, <laughs> I came off so bad. <laughs> I'm but like, like, I don't think so. But you know, at least you know he's on there. He's doing it. Yeah. And then there's some ladies that are like no go on relationships. Is that frustrating at all, or do you kind of say like, okay, I guess that's how you want to do it? The reason I think Uba's different in this particular situation is she met him, I believe, while we were filming. Okay. So it was so new. You know what I mean? Like, you're not going to bring a new person on that you actually really like. Right. Yeah. Unless you're unless it's like solid. Yeah. So I think it's like different when you're married Mm that, you know, so. Yeah, that makes sense. It's like when you first hook up with somebody, you're going to the next day get on there and be like, I just hooked up with this guy. Like it would kind of creep them out. Yeah. And and maybe he would like not be into that. Right. Exactly. She didn't know yet. Like, I don't even think they had the conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to be on the show? Right. Exactly. And. There was a lot of conversation about the night that the three of you were out to dinner. Yeah. You, Cy, Bryn, Bryn obviously share that information. What really did you guys discuss and was there a circle of trust that she broke or no? I mean, we have very different opinions on yeah. what happened, clearly. I, for me, like if I was, if I'm sitting in a situation and I'm looking at each other and we're like, nothing goes out of this like space. You know, I wouldn't say it like I think it would. But the problem is looking back is that Sai had already spilled the beans. So it's like she said Connecticut, which I think would it's connected more to him. Mm -hmm. So that is problematic. Like she shouldn't have said that. But Sai shouldn't have started it. And she shouldn't have told us to begin with. Yeah. Do you feel like Sai did not take any ownership for doing that? Because I couldn't believe that Bren and her had not spoken for literally six months. That's crazy. It was really hard on Brent because it it like 
it turned into something big, like yeah. in the group. Um, I thought it was rough. Looking back, I think it was unfair. Mm-hmm. Of yeah. side to tr- to do that. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. so. I mean, listen, she did it to me. I didn't speak to her for three months because yeah. of the podcast. So like, it's tough. It's like a, a weird feeling to not talk to your friend who you just went through this like crazy right. experience with for so long. Right. But I think that's also size. That's how she deals with it. You know, like she had a rough upbringing and for her, it's just easier to just be like, I need a break. Detach, yeah. yeah. And then she she does come to it. Yeah. I feel like we talk about this every time we have somebody on from Housewives or any Bravo reality show. We're at the end of the season, end of reunion. We ask like, all right, so who are you on good terms with at right. this moment? <laughs> Honestly, I'm good. I'm on good terms with all of them. Thank God. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't like that like last week. So thank God. Yeah. What um what has just kind of been the experience now for you personally post Housewives, you know, obviously people know who you are, you do shows, you're out, you know, getting to be on like Watch What Happens Live and all these things and doing all that. How has that changed your life now once the show has aired? Well, apparently not enough because I was flying back from Mexico, sitting in first and like I, you know, took off my like sandals and like went like this, you know, mm-hmm. in the front. Yep. And Three hours later, there was a New York Post article. Erin Leachy throws Jenna under the bus for flying first, but flies <laughs> first herself and took her shoes off. I'm like, what? So that kind of stuff is hey, like. Hey, you're yeah. allowed to fly first. I thought so. I think yeah. you're allowed to fly, uh, fly first. I think initially, I think everybody learned why Jenna wanted to fly first and also get there early. Like, yeah. I think that yeah. was discussed at length. Um, but I, I also don't think that you guys were like, oh my God, she wants to fly first. Like, I think you guys were just like, yeah, she'll fly only fly, fly first. Also, it was like more like fly, like we were all flying together. Right, exactly. You know, it like, was like the experience I don't think it. you were shaming anybody for flying first. No, like if anybody gets the all. opportunity, like you're flying first. <laughs> you're flying. I don't know why we didn't get that opportunity. <laughs> yeah, I would have liked it. Exactly. But I think, it, honestly though, if there was one thing I would take back, it would be that, that yeah, comment. That comment. Yeah. yeah, because I think that she did like I did see more of her I didn't know as much as mm-hmm. I knew looking back on it but I did see more of it being at her house and like seeing the state she was in so I feel like I could have prefaced it better right right Uba called you a shit stir do you a feel gaslighting like gaslighting shit stir yeah, not rude feel, do, do, <laughs> she's not very rude. polite she's lovely yeah. she's a gaslighting <laughs> shit stir do you uh, do you own that title or do you do you I'm denounce not a that title I'm not a gaslighter a gaslighter we can take out I do not yeah. think you're a gaslighter I'm not a gaslighter I, we yeah. talked about it at one point I wonder if it's going to be in the second episode yeah. where like He's like explaining the term gaslighter. He's like, she's not, that's not yeah. a gaslighter. Yeah. Gaslighter right. is like a heavy label to throw onto somebody. Yeah. yeah and yeah. I don't do that. Yeah. Do I start shit? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I don't do it on purpose. Like sometimes I just like make jokes mm-hmm. or if I hear a tidbit yeah. from something, I like say it to someone yeah. else and it turns into like this huge thing. Look, it's shit possible. Stir is what you need for the, think, a reality show. <laughs> I think that I think we I would messy. probably get that label. Shit, sir. Because <laughs> we hear things. And we have to tell somebody, you know, specifically each other. Yeah. It's like, oh, like like the first we're running to each other immediately. And then it's like, oh my God, you can't tell anybody, but, and then, you know, obviously (laughs) you tell people and I I feel like that's where I would get stuck. (laughs) It's like when, if someone looks me in the eye and says, do not say anything, Mm -hmm. that's different. Right. Like if I'm hearing things in passing and I think they're funny and like, I usually relay the message. Like, I I don't know. I I was saying, I I was saying recently, like, like you can, if you're in a conversation, you're like, don't tell yeah. anybody anything and it's like really serious like I'm going to take that to heart right same if it's like a light conversation and you know you go and tell somebody something I said just don't use my name you know what right. I mean <laughs> like you like right whatever but just don't throw my name in it yeah that's a good point <laughs> yeah I like that just be like I heard it but just you know don't yeah. don't as long as it's lighthearted. Me. obviously like like you said when you're like seriously don't tell yeah. anybody this no, like I think people respect that yeah, but definitely um, you met. You said that you regretted that comment about Jenna. Was there anything else from this first season that you wish you could? Take I also, back? I also wish I didn't get like as sucked into the Jessel, Jessel stuff because yeah. I really didn't care. Yeah. Like even that dinner that we had with us four with the guys, like Sai and, yep. and I and our husbands, we talked about so much stuff. But like, of course, the one time that's brought up, which wasn't brought up by me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was like, tell the story though, the backstory, and then we started talking about it. it became like we're talking about the sex life. Yep. Didn't say the ring comment. We'll take that to the grave. Did not say it that way. Um, but yes, I wish I was like, I wish I got to 
talk to Jessel more and like understand her experience and 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 get, got to know her without having like assumed other things because right. I feel like I did make assumptions on her. So we'll see what happens. Well, there, there's always time to mend, and every yeah. season of Housewives, the dynamics always yeah, change. They always, always do. they always do. Another trip will come. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. People get closer. Hope people fade away. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. So that that'll that'll be very fun, but. I'm excited. I thought this was great. We're going to ex- yeah. excited to watch the second part of the I'm excited too. reunion. I See how well we were joking that we like to watch on Peacock because we get the uncensored mm-hmm. version and really feel the passion. Yeah. I was so excited when I put it on Peacock and I remember that it was uncensored. I was like, yes. It's so much better. And I said, I felt, so I felt wrong listening. Like I was yeah. listening to something I shouldn't have, but excited at the same time. I thought the first part of the reunion was really good. You did. I was, I was really invested in it. Yeah, I, I completely agree. So we're excited. We're excited to keep watching mm-hmm. you. Thank you so much. Yes, for thank you so much. So fun. Yes. This is really fun. <laughs>